first. My name is Kenneth Bird. My company is Black Series Edition LLC. I'm doing this for a uh, someone came into our YouTube channel asking about the four movie projector. Man, I have done videos on these particular projectors, warning people to stay away from these gimmick. We call them gimmick projectors. So that's pretty much what they are. These projectors have extremely high red flags on them. If you look at this projector on what they're charging for it and then the specification, it's clearly telling you that the projector doesn't do what it's designed to do. Now, from what I've seen already from the Valve projector, which is a projector that has some really serious red flags on it, these are projectors that usually have a 3,000 to 1 contrast. Any projector that they're charging literally that kind of money for that has a 3,000 to 1 contrast is poor. The projector behind me, which is my um, NEC uh, projector, which I think was discontinued in 2012 or somewhere around that time, probably a little later than that. But anyway, it's an older projector. It's 720p. They're under $200 on eBay. I got mine for 60 bucks. I got a couple for 140. That projector has a 4,000 to 1 contrast. Even though that isn't all that high, it's a 720p projector and it's higher than a projector that is a one half to 27. A uh, dollar, twenty-seven hundred dollar um, uh, valve projector, and this projector for movies is around thirty-four hundred dollars. So, red flags that I see on this projector that we advise people to stay away from these gimmick machines, um, and especially with the projector not even being native 4K, you spend thirty-four hundred dollars for a projector that doesn't even have native 4K. If it has native 4K, they always give out the specification of uh, the pixel count of what the projector is. All right, so over here, let me show you. That's the $60 projector over there running right now, right? That's the Sony, but that's a $60 projector running right there. That projector is 3,600 lumens. It's a NEC 3600 lumen projector, even though it's 720p, it still has higher specs than the um than these projectors, these gaming projectors that they push out. Now, four movies is one of the projectors that we saw on the list of these particular projectors that are being pushed out super fast. And again, specifications are extremely low on these things. So the four movie projector. Let's go all the way up to the top first. We're on Amazon. Same thing. I'm not saying they're, they're lying. I don't even, I can even say that honestly. Because again, remember Valve got sued by Epson because they were going in and they were lying about the specifications. They were claiming that the projectors were a whopping 6,000 lumens. Found that they were much lower than that. They were only 18. Any projector you see is running $3,500 and has a 3,000 to 1 contrast is poor. 3,000 to contrast isn't great. It's not great. It's very, very low for a projector of that much money. It should be much higher than that. Like I said, my NEC projector behind me has a 4,000 to 1 on it, and it's much older than this. And the lumen count should be much higher than 28. It should be very high than 28. Most likely, it should be at around in the range of 33,000 to 36, somewhere in that range. My projector is 3,600 lumens. It's a 720p unit. They want $3,500 for this machine. Perfect at all, period. It's, these are machines that we have a lot of problem. People bought these machines, try to use it against the black technology. Hey, it's not going to run, not going to work. You're going to be stuck to a white or light gray screen, which is the only thing that's going to pick up on this thing. And you're going to have wash out. Your colors are going to wash out. Can't pick up contrast. So you definitely won't be using this in a fully lit environment. Everyone we saw who had this projector on, on, on YouTube was sitting in extremely dark environments. 
This is supposed to be a laser TV projector, and yet it sits in the dark 24-7 because it can't use it in the fully lit environment because it can't be used on proper dark screens in order to be used in fully lit environment. It doesn't even work on gunmetal. Can't work on black diamonds. Not going to work on DMP supernovas, no elite screens, none of that at all, period. White and gray is what you're going to be stuck with, and these are particular screens that you can't use in fully lit environments. We have the uh, paint we designed for Valva, uh, for WeMax, for these particular projectors. But as I said before, still, you don't have black technology, which behind me, we can run on a $60 NEC, and it looks absolutely insane. So you'll never pick up a contrast level of this properly. On top of that, without the product we have for the, um, it has a darker shade. It does pick up a darker contrast because the Valva projector and screen combination, the screen literally matched the white screen. That's just gets extremely bad. It's very, very bad. And then turn around and match the walls. And, so, and, and a fellow uh, who goes by, um, I'm going to give credit, I'm not credit for credit to do is actually he did a poor demonstration on that because he literally looked at this screen and thought it was doing something different and it wasn't, which shows that his credibility and basically home theater is actually completely flawed because he should have saw that right from the door that they were matching, but he couldn't see it. But anyway, um, and this projector is not worth your time. It's $3,400 for this projector. They're calling it a TV top projector, a laser TV. If it's a laser TV, it should operate like a TV, which means you should be really using a full lit environment without any problems whatsoever. And I show you red flags that are popping up on it. Any projector that's 4K is automatically going to give the, the pixel um, count right from the door. P2, it gives a pixel. Should any Samsung, Epson, uh, LG, any one of those projectors. Um, Optima, all of them, anyone. ViewSonic, they're going to give you your pixels right there from the door, exactly what the resolution is. These projectors can't do this because they use pixel shifting technology and therefore they are not native 4K. So what you're going to see in the bottom, and when it says resolution, it's just going to simply say 4K. That's all it's going to say. Same thing with the Valve. We can go right to Valve's website, it's the same thing, 4K. What's the pixel? It's two different versions of 4K. Which one is it? Okay, you can't tell you that. So you're going to spend that much money. You're just better off just buying the P2. And with the P2, at least you're actually getting NATO 4K. And you're getting a 2 million to 1 contrast attached to it. Which, again, with our technology, you won't need it because you can just turn it off. Because our technology is black. The 2 million to 1 is needed if you have a screen that's not black. You have to have that. My projector right now, behind me, my NDC is running right now can pick up over two million to one because it's sort of it's, it's projecting off a black surface a black screen so we don't require it so let's scroll down here and let's see where it says right here see where it says i'm going to bring this a little better for you guys to see it's a little better all right see where it says where it says uh uh 4k ultra hd where's the resolution at not there right it's a dlp projector right it's 2,800 lumens for that price right there. Hold on for a minute. We got to scroll up a little bit more. as people. Sorry about that. It's 2,800 lumens. It's still good for a projector if it's name brand, but these projectors aren't name brand. So to tell you the truth, unless somebody really digs into the specifications, you may not know what you're getting when it comes to that because I'm not really sure. It's supposed to be a triple laser. I've had laser projectors before. I had a project, Castile projector that was a hybrid. And that thing was super bright at 2,600 lumens. We took one of them outside and strapped it to the side of the deck. and was able to project an image onto a flat surface. That thing's really that bright. They're brighter than 3,000 lumen projectors. Triple laser. And everyone I've seen with this thing hit a white wall. It doesn't reflect any real light around the ceilings or walls, which shows the projector's not really giving off that much light at all, period. I doubt that altogether right there from the door. Mind you, like I said, these projectors are known. These are gimmick machines. Ah, oh, don't even get me started. Look at this. This is, just, this is a nightmare right here. That's fake. That's fake. That's the real deal. Sorry about that. You can't see that right there. Okay, there we go. This is fake. We've seen these projectors over here, the Iwa, Awa, whatever they call that projector in the day. We saw that basically when they did their um, 
when he had their convention show. Hold on a few minutes. This video playing in the background. Here we go. We saw that in the convention show. They had, they had, in, in the video, they had a 150 inch inside of its own private booth. It had curtains on the side of it. They had a, 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 a huge uh, a roof over top of it to protect the screen because they were complaining about the lights being 21 feet up in the air that were plaguing the screens and the screens were washing out. You're 21 feet up in the air. How many people are gonna be running this projector that are gonna be in a home, they're gonna have lights sitting 21 feet up in the air. 21 in the feet, the screen, lights are 21 feet in the air that are plaguing the screen. What happens when the ceiling is nine feet? Then what? That's a lot closer than 21 feet, extremely a lot closer. So that's why when we see those projectors, dark environments. One of the things I've noticed about this also, this particular projector, when they had it in the booth, you can literally look down both sides of the hallway. You can see where the hallways were super bright, but where this projector was sitting, it was so dark. When they went to zoom down on the bottom half of where the case where the projector was sitting, you couldn't see the controllers. The controls were in shadows. They had two fans on the side, I guess, to keep the system cool. That was in shadow. That whole area was cast in shadows. But left or right to the booth, everything was in really really bright bright levels which means you can tell in the booth they had it dimmed so that way the screen could pull up because it would wash out oh gee was weave these machines are just trash at the end of the day get a name brand projector i don't even know what the heck this is at the end of the day they, they push these things out so fast it's not even funny what the heck is that all right let me just show you all right so as we scroll down this i'm going to go into a whole history lesson today You see right here, let me see, a little farther down, spe specification sheet. Don't don't even pay this any mind. This is, don't, don't even bother reading through all this, don't bother with it. Go straight to the specification sheet. See what it says. All right, here we go. 3,000, oh, it says over 3,000 to one. So what is it? It says over 3,001. What is this is a specification sheet. What is the precise um, 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 a contrast ratio on this projector? Not over, what is it? 2,800 lumens. I have never seen on a specification sheet when they say over 3,000 to one. Then what's over? What is over 3,000 to one? What precisely is it? That's the whole purpose of the of the specification sheet is to tell you exactly what the um, the lumen I'm sorry what the um, contrast is going to be. Man, he's talking about doing cheat sheets. This at the end of the day is just pathetic. This is really pathetic. That's like buying a freaking um, a projector and having somebody say, "Oh, it could be 4K. It might be. It might be 1080P. Maybe. Could be. Might." Over? No, you can't say over. You have to tell exactly what it is. If we go to any projector, one needs their name brand. It's going to tell me exactly what that is. Let's go over to. Let me see. Is it all this? Fake, 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 fake. These are all fake projectors. I'm surprised. Look at this one, man. This is, a, this is a freaking train wreck. That's fake. That's fake. That's fake, that's fake, that's fake, that's fake. Won't even touch none of those at the end of the day. That's all trash. Let's get a name brand projector. Get a name brand projector. Let me see. Let's get a name brand one. Well, so you see projectors that are popping up. I'm not your everyday name brand projectors. Don't bother with those things. Those things are fake. And it says over 3,000 to 1. Then what exactly is the pinpoint of the contrast? I just need to go to Projector Central and all this.
because then the company makes their own screens for a fact. Not much of a specification sheet. I'm going to have to go to Patron Projector Central for this. Alright, let's go pop out of Projector Central and get these specifications on this machine. As a matter of fact, even better. I'm going to look up uh, 4K, legit 4K. 4K ultra short throw projectors. That's using pixel shifting. It's a shame you pick up, you put in 4K ultra short throw projector and you get this, these projectors that are pop up that should never be there because they're not 4K. Look at that Valve Smart projector. That shouldn't even be in there. When you type in 4K projector, this is what's misleading the customers. This is another reason why I told you I hate the freaking industry because, again, this is all lies. This is the Valva projector. We've already seen this thing already. The screen's garbage, and the projector itself got sued, and again, it doesn't have proper specifications on it. I don't even know what the freak this is. I hope it doesn't get to a point that basically that these good projectors out here like Epson and Sony, projectors have been around forever that have been producing amazing images. I hope these machines never ever get overshadowed by this. You will never see Black Diamond or any one of the big companies ever touch one of these projectors because these projectors don't work. Here's the Optima right there. Optima is like two grand now. You can just go buy an Optima projector talk better with that. thousand dollars optimal projector you spent thirty four hundred dollars for a machine that doesn't give a proper pixelation oh, I forgot to share about that too real quick sorry about that I got caught up in this real quick where's that projector at? all right here we're still on the page right yeah we're still on the page with the projector let's see what they put down okay now it says it's funny how it's given off two different forms of information here here it states let me show you right here where it states uh, it says here it says that the contrast here is over 3000 to 1 right alright let's just talk about this just for a minute But if you come up in here and you look, what does it say the contrast is? 3,001. But they got a plus symbol next to it, like it's 3,001 plus. Plus what? This has, this is this projector right here. That's this projector right here. So what is this? What is 3,001 plus? That doesn't make any sense. So now we're just adding stuff in there. See, this is the reason why these companies need to be taken to court, need to be sued, and need to be have their specifications put out there what it really is. What the freak is 3,000 plus? That doesn't even make any sense. I've never even heard anything like that on the projector. Either 3,001, 4,001, 5,001, 10,001, 20,001, 2 million to 1. So this is what we're doing now. We're doing 2 million to 1 plus. We're just adding stuff in there. What is 3,001 plus? What does it equal up to? What is the actual, oh my goodness, this is just garbage of the day. 3,001 plus, we just adding stuff in there. Plus what, how much is it? What is exactly it is? That's so much when you got people doing oh, approximately, the game could be eight to nine. Which one is it? Is it eight or nine? Or projectors saying that there's 720p 4K or 1080p 4K. Is it 720p or 1080p? Which one is it? This is what I'm talking about. This dumb nonsense where people just just stab in the dark specifications. Well, whatever it lands on, that's what it is. That's pretty bad. That is pretty bad. All right. 
doesn't give the resolution anywhere in here at all period as you can see there's no resolution in here and if you come over here to the very bottom here looking for the specifications this is what it says what the resolution is for 4k that's it how you spend thirty four hundred dollars for a projector and this is what you're giving me for resolution count 4k ultra hd all right so resolution which one is it? what is the resolution on it oh no 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 it's it's just 4k believe me it's just 4k that's what it is it's 4k yeah right i'm not spending that kind of money for a projector so you got so much money to spend my man so, you guys see these gimmick commercials they put on here for these projectors. They blow them up at 150 inches. They stick them in dark environments. They make all these false accusations. And projectors are supposed to be doing 150 inch screens. They're supposed to be doing 4K. We've got this new technology called pixel shifting technology. Pixel shifting is a new. Shifting has been around forever. You know about that got a whopping 3,000 to 1 contrast. People will be sitting in the room and on Facebook be cracking up. Like any people who know it, then that they project this laugh at 3,000 to 1. And then they can't even give you exactly what the native is when it comes to the 4K. You can't even get that. One billion colors. Yeah, right, sure. If I look at this projector right now on YouTube, how many people are going to use, when I turn my lights on, how many people want to operate the projector exactly the same way we can operate ours? This is why when people buy these projectors, they will contact us so we can help them use their projectors in fully lit environments just like a TV because they don't want to sit in the dark with it. And we have to tell them that we can't help them at that particular time. We can't help you because the black technology will not support the projector. And I'm really thinking about pulling the valve of paint. I'm thinking about pulling it. And the reason why? Because I don't want to be responsible for the reason why people continue to buy these machines. And because there is a, a product that will help them. I'm not trying to basically help these machines out. I want these machines to disappear. So, maybe if there's no product that functions correctly on them, maybe people stop buying them. I'm adding to the problem, to tell you the truth, honestly. It's a product I can make good money off of. I think I'm pulling it. Or, I'm thinking about basically denying access because people like it. It's a lighter product. They like that too. People like the lighter products. They like it. It's ambient light rejection because unlike other gray screens, they can't we're operating fully lit environments. Our technology can. So I may keep it and just basically just put the policy and we won't support those projectors anymore. Because I don't want to add to the problem. The way they're producing these machines are lying. From the customers, I'm showing that was not even funny. Here's a kicker for you. You want to see a kicker? I got a kicker for you. This projector is $3,400, right? And it has a, a fake specification of 3,000 to 1 plus, which I've never heard of before. Well, check this out right here. This projector right here, show you how phony these things are. This projector right here. That projector right there, so that projector they want a hundred dollars for. Look at the contrast on it; it's four thousand. How does this projector right here, that costs a hundred bucks, it's supposed to be a 1080p, four thousand lumen projector. It's a hundred dollars, and it's four thousand to one contrast. But the projector over here, that's going to cost you. $3,500 only has 2,800 lumen brightness. This has 4,000. This one has a. Hmm, hmm, hmm. 
This one has a 3,000 to 1 plus, which I've never heard of before. 3,000 to 1 plus. But this one over here for 100 bucks has a 4,000 to 1. Can you explain that? How do you explain that? Explain that one to me. It's a $100 projector. It has 4,000. It's 4,000. No, it's all crap. It's all garbage. Right there, it's a hundred bucks, and it has. <clears throat> sorry about that. It has four thousand, four thousand in contrast. I'm sorry, four thousand in lumens. And the other one only has twenty-eight. That has four thousand in contrast. And the only one, and the other one has only three thousand plus. Which again, there's no accurate reading on that. You have to understand that Amazon's a hub. It's designed so other merchants can sell their products on Amazon. We all know that. So everything you're getting is coming strictly from their company that they're posting on there about the projector. So Amazon isn't making it up. They're making it up. Like eBay. They put whatever you want up on there. People buy from there. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So as we can see, there's no real specifications on it. Ask me if I want to allow this page. It never makes any sense with going with this one right here. Okay. Yes, allow. We use this page all the time. Now, see right here? The minute that I pop on here for the P2, the minute, look what pops up on the P2. If you got 4K, you will display 4K. See what I mean? See the brightness on it? 3,000 to 1. If you got 4K, you would display it. Why wouldn't you? If you're a, project a projector manufacturer and you have native 4K, why would you not display it? That would be the dumbest thing ever. Why? What's the point of designing this laser projector and you basically, at the end of the day, have 4K and you don't display it? Why? If you have 4K, you display 4K. If you don't have it, you can't display something you don't have. So that's why I said it was pixel shifting. That's why you will never see any form of native resolution. And it'll put something up there just for the time being. But when you go into the specification sheets and you really read up on the machine, you find out that it's not. Because where are you getting the extra pixels from? They're probably basically 1080p base projectors. That's what they are. And the first red flag that pops up on these machines is that 3,000 to 1. They all have that 3,000 to 1. And the ones that claim that they do, once one was claiming to have almost near a half a million to one. It wasn't there, and the contrast was extremely poor. So you're buying, and if it has a projector set up with it, like a screen set up with it, that's even worse. You've seen the valve of nightmare. That thing is an absolute nightmare. I'm, 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 it's sad to say people who bought the combo, you got, you got ripped off. You literally got ripped off. You bought a projector, think about it. And you bought a projection set up for that much money that has a low 1800 lumens attached to it. So even though, as, as for, for a real projector in the, the day, that wouldn't be too bad. But if you're gonna be using it like a TV, you're gonna need a little bit more than that to get that to fire off. And keep in mind, your screen isn't exactly black. Black screens or gunmetal screens are, they, they advance a little better in, in, in well-lit environments. They can absorb light. That screening is exactly gonna absorb light. You're not picking up any contrast. You have 3,000 to 1 on a screen that's that light that can't even pick up or can't even show the difference between that and the white screen. White screens have poor contrast. They don't have ambient light rejection. They don't pick up contrast. They don't pick up color. They just pick up white levels. That's it. You match a white screen. That means you now bought a projector that has a poor 3,000 to 1. At least, even if it had a 2 million to 1, at least you would get some better results out of it if you're trying to show contrast, but you have a low 3,000 to 1 trying to pull off on a screen that matched the white screen, which ends up really good. So you can never use that thing in a full environment. That guy had it at 119 lux. That is poor. That's extremely poor. Just about everybody's bathroom is way over that. Just the bathroom alone. The average home is higher. The average home is higher than 119. Way higher. 
That's a bad combination altogether. I don't even know why they even set it up that way. Excuse me for a minute. I got freaking uh, watching fish in the background commercials are popping up. That's a, a really trashy, trashy setup. You don't have enough contrast to pull up a high enough black level. Your screen doesn't have the capability because it's too light to begin with. The projector has poor lumen count capabilities. The screen's too light to pull up in a fully lit environment. Oh, gee whiz, it's just a train wreck all the way around. And people paid out, that guy paid out all that money to be stuck with a screen at the end of the day that can't do its job. You do the same thing with the white screen or a gray wall and a projector that clearly lied about its specifications. And then you have these nightmares that keep popping up that had that 3,000 to one contrast. 3,000 to one contrast is not good for an ultra short throw and especially for that kind of money it should never be three thousand to one you should be in the million range for that kind of money mm. it was the p2 and over here at b and h they're asking for the p2 at around two thousand dollars you want to save fifteen hundred dollars from buying that four movie projector even though, with the P2, we still haven't found anyone to match the promo demonstration. Not one person. Everyone we've seen with the P2 is sitting in the dark. Is there anything wrong with the P2? No, it works perfectly fine. It's a fantastic piece of equipment. The only problem is people who own these machines don't have proper screens. And that's why that projector, every time we go online, try to find someone to match it. Bright, beautiful promo demonstration, which they lied on that one too because they photoshopped the images in there. We can't find anybody. There's one YouTuber who actually bought one, unboxed it, stuck it against the wall, turned it on, and it washed clean out. For those who said, well, I saw it in the showcase, yeah. In the showcase, I guarantee they probably had like a $5,000 screen sitting in there. I guarantee you. They didn't have it on a gray screen. They had probably on a $5,000 dollar ultra short those screen they had it and it still was in an ambulate controlled environment at that even if you do buy the p2 you still are going to have to buy a screen that's going to be able to produce what the p2 was designed to pull, pull off do your research go online try to find anybody who's using a full environment if they're using the ambulate controlled environment you shouldn't be in that environment because you have to you have to darken your environment to accommodate the screen you shouldn't have to do that. As for the other projectors, if it has a 3,000 to one, if it's not showing anything, just don't don't buy them. Knock off projectors. <sighs> See? That's my setup right there for now, just for fun. Thing about it is that when people see these demonstrations, they want the black technology. They want to be able to do what I'm doing right now. I can watch movies, sports, whatever I want. Fully lit environment, no problem. Now, whether it's long throw, whether it's off the short throw, whatever we throw against the wall, it's going to run. They want that 100% contrast level. They want to pick up beautiful colors. They don't want to calibrate none of that nonsense. That's what they want. The problem is, is with those particular projectors, we can't support them. The black screens won't read it. That's why anytime you watch a demonstration on those projectors, you ever see any black diamonds up there? Any of the darker gunmetal screens? You won't see one of them up there because it can't support the projector because the projector can't see it. It'll support this one with no problem. But then again, now you're talking about spending an additional $5,000, $6,000 for a screen at 100 inches. When our technology does it for far less. There you go. That's why I don't like the industry. It's all about the haves and have-nots, that's what it comes down to. Now for me over here, I can run my projectors in fully lit environments. I spent 60 bucks for that projector behind me, it doesn't even have a 2 million to 1 contrast, that's a 4,000 to 1, and I can pick up a black level higher than anyone with a P2 with a 2 million to 1 on a gray string. Now, I guarantee if they had the technology sitting behind me right now, you wouldn't be paying no $400 for it. You're going to pay a lot more than that for it. I guarantee you. Your gunmetal technology is going to cost you $3,000. 
to around five grand, that's a black technology sitting behind you right now. You're looking at $10,000 easy for 100 inches. When they do launch a black certified screen, it's gonna make us look pretty nice. I'll tell you why, our price. Price to our technology. But let's get back to this right here. This is what you should buy, my friend. Pick this up. This is much better. Specifications are real, they're legit. You are gonna get a two million to one contrast on this, which you're gonna need. If you're not using our technology, you are gonna need that two million to one. Will you be using it in a fully lit environment? No, you will not be using it in a fully lit environment. It's not gonna happen. Your contrast of all that's gonna wash out and fade. You're not gonna use the two main to one. People gotta, you gotta remember this people. I can't express this enough. Even if you have 50 million to one contrast, you will not pick up a 100% black level. You can't see it. There's, the white screen won't do it for you. The gray screen, it's, it's just not gonna work. That's why I said two million to one. Our, we talked about that projectors have extremely high contrast levels. This is an option you will pay for that you will never ever use. The darker the screen, the better that option becomes. So if you use it on a white screen, it's uh, You're using it on a, a, a light screen, it's uh, a little better. You're using it on gunmetal technology, now we're getting expensive, it's much, much better. There's a difference between the contrast level and black diamond or dark star nine compared to a lighter, lighter gray screen or a white screen. By the time you reach black technology, what was the point of you buying the two million to one? You don't need it because the screen you're using is physically black, so you have to turn that option off, which means you just paid for something you will never use. There you go. But to the fellow who asked the question about the four movie projector, oh, gee whiz, stay away from those machines. Get yourself a name brand machine. So in the net way, if you want to upgrade to a darker screen, you have that option. But stay away from these. Buy this, this is what you want to pick up. There's plenty of other good projectors out there. If you want to go 1080p base, keep in mind, what was it, you were talking about 1080p. If you want to do 1080p base, you can go pick a, um, a which one kind of makes a great laser projector. Epson makes one. You have the Optima GT5556. We have both of those projectors over here. They're fantastic projectors. We got one, we used it fully the environment with our technology. Projectors like $1,300, save a lot of money. But these are gimmick projectors. Don't go, don't go near these things. Now let's look at this. They have one projector we saw that clearly said, I mean, they're getting bold what they write in there. One of them literally said that if you, it's 2,400 lumens, but if you get a projection screen that's ambulant rejection, your lumen count jumps to 36. Let me find that projector at. We found that. Matter of fact, I think we found it in this category under this one right here. No, three thousand dollars not even worth three grand for what I've seen in the demonstration look at this one right look at the price of this look at that that's insane this is the projector that they had in the booth remember the one they had in the booth on the screen and the image was really really poor and the guy said you know the image is kind of fuzzy but we got to go on and we got to update the firmware it's like buying a half-made video game at the end of the day. So, I mean, to tell me that when I take this thing out of the box, it's going to look fuzzy and blurry, but we got to update firmware to fix that. Gee whiz, man. I would rather just go back to the old days. That's why I like the older projectors. There's no gimmicks. That's not even that. It's not even legit right there. Sorry, that's not even legit. Because that uses pixel shifting. That's why. Now this projector was claiming to have two million to one contrast, but what we saw in the booth, this thing had washed out in the booth. Contrast level wasn't even picking up. They were doing the movie Avatar. You can't even see the proper blacks pull off at all. Period. It's a shame because the whole industry is screwed up. And the reason why it's screwed up, people, because again, 
for them, if you can see an image, it doesn't have to be good, it doesn't have to be great, but as long as you can see it, it's considered to be acceptable. Man, I'm telling you something, if I didn't have the technology I have right now, I would have me an OLED. That's what I'm going to purchase in here. Because that's how they see it. I want to look for this other projector I saw, that, that weird projector. Had a strange name next to it. Here's another one. I've never even heard of this company. Where did this one pop up at? Look at the name of that. What is that? What the freak is that? They all promise you a 150 inch screen. enough you had to worry about these projectors right here these gimmick projectors coming in saying oh you get a 20,000 or 50,000 or 12,000 lumen projector that would be $87 now you got them charging at least $87 isn't much of a loss it's still a loss at the end of the day but still it's not much to spending $3,400 for a machine or $3,500 or $2,700 for a machine and fun oh found it we found it. This is another one. Trash. Trash. What's this one right? Oh, and that's definitely trash. Here you go. Perfect example. But yes, look. $2,600. Here we go. Right here. So I need to take these people to court for this nonsense. It's 2,400 lumens, right? 24 lumen brightness, capable of producing 3,600 lumens on an ambient light rejection screen. How the freak is that one possible? So you mean to tell me that the lamp that I have in my projector is the wattage is for 2,400 lumens, but the minute I put this on an ambient light rejection screen, it transforms to a projector of a whopping 36? How the freak is that even possible? Oh, but they don't explain it to you. I read the specifications. They don't explain it to you. They're just saying it. So this is what I mean by people like, um, and I, guys, I hate to put you in this, but you do this mess. You do this with your screen paint products. You guys fluff and fake your way through. You're just as bad as these companies right here. Making statements that the Cinemax can pull 100% contrast next to a black screen, stealing images to try to make it to get it that, that appearance that it does that. The lie. Oh, my goodness. Not even property tested. Products are matching. House paint lies. I'm getting on camera and talking about some bubble release system and oxygen and other nonsense. Freaking lie. You paint the screen an extra coat. It, it's slightly brighter. Lie. This optical stat. Lie. There's nothing but a bunch of lies. And then they was, he's stealing images off of Google also too. Just a bunch of freaking lies. Jerkers need to be testing your stuff. This stuff needs to be tested. That's the dumbest thing I've heard in my entire life. Oh yeah, if we just get a screen that's ambient light projection, it's gonna jump. The lamp is gonna jump automatically to 3,600 lumens. Now there are lamp, there are projectors, venue projectors that have two lamps in them. Literally have two lamps. Some of them can switch from one to to, to a higher lumen count. But due to the fact that it has a lamp in it that's separate from the one that's in there, it can't do it from the same lamp. But you got one of those magic lamps. Remember those light bulbs back in the day? The ones you can actually click and it would get brighter and brighter and brighter. They were like three levels of brightness on it. I don't see it happening on this one. This is what I'm talking about. Freaking uh, Valve projector came out there when they first came out there. They were whopping 6,000 lumens. They weren't even anywhere in the ballpark and close to even that at the end of the day. They come out here with their promo demonstrations about how their screen's supposed to be ambient light rejection and blah, blah, blah. This and the other. They don't even pick up properly what the guy just shoot off. They don't even pick up properly at 1900 lux. Sorry, not sorry, 1900. 119 lux they don't pick up. <sighs> I can't wait to see this nightmare. What's going on with this one? This has 1.8 million colors. It's funny how every time I go in here to look at these projectors, they're so washed out for all this color that they have at the end of the day. 
Alright, let's go take a road trip. I want to take a road trip. I like to look these things out. I'm not going to look at one video. I'm not going to go through a whole thing. I'm not even going to spaz out, none of that. Just, it is what it is. What the heck is this? I and there's another one popped up. What the heck is this nonsense? See, look at this. That's a lot of money for a customer to get burnt on at the end of the day. That's not property tested. Boy, you mind you the shock and awe when people who bought the Daba, they thought it was 36, it turns out it was, I wonder if they got refunds for those machines. They should have got massive refunds on that one. And they claimed that projector was $6,000 and they found it was $1,800. Oh man, can you imagine you being at home and finding out your projector is like 1800 lumens and you paid for a projector with 6000 lumens see that's what i'm talking about how are they getting past testing what's going on is they're getting past testing what can you know, these machines have to be tested right if not these things could keep up burning your house to the ground if they're not properly tested right so if they're getting that stamp of approval how did you get a stamp of approval on a machine that doesn't even have proper specifications on it that's scary I'm not putting the beer out that it could burn your house down. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying, how, where did they get this stamp of approval? Oh, I got to dig into this one right here. I got to dig into this one. I'm pretty sure every forum site, like ABS Forums, Projector Central, you know I love these places. Not ABS Forum, but I love Projector Central. I'm pretty sure they went in on, wow, look at this. 6,000 lumens. Must be amazing. Just send a review. People doing reviews on it. Boy, that must have been a hurt piece for people. Anyone did a review on that projector at that particular time and said, look, it has a whopping six and didn't even know. You guys are supposed to be professional at the end of the day. If I'm going to find one of y'all videos that basically y'all commented on that projector at that particular timeline. If I could find a timeline when that projector was making that announcement with 6,000 lumens. And if I pull up videos from people's accounts clearly stating that they were praising this machine at being 6,000 lumens and the entire time it wasn't, you guys don't know jack. Something's wrong. Apparently, you've never seen a 6,000 lumen projector. Because I could see that at a mile away that it wasn't 6,000 lumens because it wasn't bouncing enough light off the walls. You know how powerful 6,000 lumens is? a lot of light. That's funny right there, boy. But then, like I said, some people, some, of the, some people who do these reviews are going to be honest in their front, and some are not. Some are going to get a lot of money tossed at them, and they're going to get fake reviews. You know how many projectors we have on the blacklist that we tested? We bought these projectors, and there were people out there putting reviews on these projectors, how fantastic they were, and these projectors were garbage. Because they were getting some money tossed at them, that's why. That's why I tell these companies right from the door, never send me a projector at the end of the day. You will hate me at the end of the day, because I'm going to tell you just like it is, it's trash. If it does exactly what it's supposed to do, because it'll go under my testing. I'm not going to stick it in the dark on a white screen. No, I'm going to stick it on one of these darker screens and see if that thing can pull. All right, let me see what we got going on here. Oh, my goodness. They didn't even space the ends in there. Look at this. Really? There's literally supposed to be a space in there between and. You know, whatever. I'm going to take a little field trip on the four movie projector. Let's go pop back over here. I still want to see this one. But I don't know what the four movies is. I'm going to check this out real quick. I'm going to look at the four movies. I'm going to have a pop look around on YouTube. Let's see. I'm in here watching this movie. I'll come get back to this later on. I'm going to watch it right now. Told you, in the dark, you ain't got no choice. You have to be in the dark. That's supposed to be a well-lit area before they turned out the lights. That's poor. That's very poor. 65? Are you freaking kidding me? 65, are you? Wait, hold for a minute, for a minute, wait, wait, wait. No, that's impossible. There's no way in the world. There's no way in the world that's going to be 652. That's virtually impossible. We're way over that, but that's virtually impossible. 
the area would have to be far lighter than that and to calibrate that machine at the end of the day this needs to be calibrated there is no way in the world there's that much light in that environment I'll tell you why. Look at this. Or it's probably maybe if he's measuring how much light from the screen, screen. But either way, look how dark the environment is. Let me bring you back some here on this one. Oh, I went too far up. There we go. See those corners? Very important. Look at the wall. See how dark the wall's coming up? When the wall's coming up that dark, that means there's no light making contact with the wall. If there's no light making contact with the wall, it's not making it with the screen. Man. Now they got it. This is in the dark now. There you go. Oh, wow. You can't have it in a fully lit environment. Can you put it in a fully lit environment anytime throughout the video, anything? It's not, man, that's, that's not good. Come on, man. Some really bullet environments. Never get this anytime. Never do. Of course, we get a commercial in there. Might as well put one in there. Let's get to what I wanted. There we go. See that? See the light coming off the blinds? See how it only hits right there? All this now is just dark. That's it. There's no light in the environment. I put demonstration where I walked through my, my environment with projectors on the $200 ultra short. See how well lit that environment was? That's what I'm looking for when I watch these demonstrations. I'm looking for that kind of ultra short though and how much light we had in that environment. Especially the one that I had sitting there where I was watching the fish with all the lights moving back with the windows on each side. That's what I'm looking for. That's too dark. We have it on here, right? Yeah, we have it on here. This is on, let me see. Let me show you what we're comparing it to. Do we have this in the front or we have this in demo? I think we have this in demos. That particular, yeah, this one is in demos. It's in this one. So when you're going to use an ultra short throw projector, if you're going to tell me I'm going to use this machine in a fully lit environment, I'm expecting fully lit environment. I'm not expecting to see shadows and corners. Don't want to see any of that. I'll uh, show you what we compare it to. We get to scroll through all these videos first. It's a lot, but we do a lot of testing. There we go. Let's go right here. Get the massive grid. We had roll pass. All right, we're getting there. There's just a lot of demonstrations, people. There we go. There we got ultra short though right there. How no why do y'all environments are so dark? Literally, it shouldn't be that dark. I literally coded a room all white and, and put a projector and screen in it to generate more light. We should be let me see here we go. Ultra short those demonstrations right here. Which one is it? Here it is. Now this is what we look for when we took for ultra short though demonstrations. So people, when you hear me on camera talking about an area that's too dark, this is what we're expecting. If you're gonna show me an ultra short though setup, it needs to be in a fully lit environment, which means I won't wanna see any shadows, I don't wanna see any dark walls, I wanna see it in a really well lit environment. Show me that that technology works. When I'm watching people using a machine like a P2 and you're in a really dark environment, you see any Christmas tree lights splashing behind the back of my screen? No. See this? These are LED lights up here. They're canceled out because there's so much light in the environment. This is what we compare y'all demonstrations to. We did this demonstration because someone was saying, hey, can you use ultra short throws? And I said, sure. So I wired ultra short throws through the entire house. Short, this is a short throw. Um, a short though, uh, view sonic projector for the 235.1. I said, sure. So we did short throws, ultra short throws to the entire house. 
So that way I can walk around and I can show you that this is what your environment is supposed to look like when you're operating an ultra short throw. It's supposed to react like TVs. You can't call something a TV if it doesn't operate like a TV. So I'm not being hard on these people. When people think I'm being ruthless and I'm being nasty toward them, no. You are not supposed to be in an environment that dark. The machine is sitting right on top of the screen. Why are you sitting in the dark? And you can't call it a TV if it doesn't act like a TV. You can turn your TV on. Tell me how many people have TVs right now. You're going to automatically darken your curtains, turn out the lights, you know, because you're afraid that the screen is going to wash out if you have the lights on. That's the funniest thing everyone ever said in their entire life. That's funny. So if you're going to call a projector at the end of the day a TV, it needs to react like a TV. See my screen all the way back there running in all that light? Just like right now, in this room, I can turn my lights on and I can watch my screen behind me. Same projector you're seeing over there, cost 60 bucks, it's the same one sitting behind me right now. And you know, people are sitting up there with projectors that cost $3,000, $4,000, $5,000 machines and you're stuck in the dark. Can't even pull proper contrast loads. You got, you're forced to calibrate. You calibrate none of those projectors in that place. You don't have to, there's black technology running through there. If those were four movie projectors, it does with a valve projector, we can run a valve projector, it wouldn't even pick up. The screen wouldn't even pick up in there. I've never put curtains ever on my kitchen windows when I was living there. Never. For what? The dark in it? I never right there in that room right there, we didn't put curtains here. We didn't put curtains here. But the light pushed right on through. And how do you explain this right here? See how I turn? I should be to see that screen and that one at the same time. I got demonstrations where I walk through and I can watch screens off my ceiling with lights on. That's why I said there's no excuse, number one, for basically for any of these projectors that cost that much money, they can't perform. These are old 720p, all 720p projectors running right now. No excuse for it. And there's no excuse for those of you who make these fake phony screen paint products with these overpriced projections sitting in there and these dark environments. I'm like, oh, look at the color. You can't. And you're in the dark with an ultra short throw. You're not supposed to be in the dark with an ultra short throw. I'm going to go pop over and sit down on my sofa. Watch this. It's 12 o'clock in the afternoon. And this is why we get calls from people who have those projectors and they'll contact me and they'll say, hey, look, can we, we can't help you because it won't support that black technology can't support your projector. Yeah, ambient light, sure. Do that all the time. People think they got ambient light projection technology and they don't even own it. So this is what I compare when I watch demonstrations on YouTube, this is what we compare it to. This is what we should be picking up off an ultra short throw projector. Optima GT5600. This is how you're supposed to pick up on that projector. Shouldn't be stuck in the dark with it. If you have a real projector, this is how they're going to react. If you have our technology, that's what you can do with it. If you don't have our technology, everyone we saw at the Optima GT 5500, 56, was stuck in a room, stuck in a dark environment.
See all my environments? Nice and bright. No matter where I move at. That was the last house I was living in. I moved to this house. Guess what? Set up another projector. Set the screen up. Same results. Any environment that I go to lay my head at, my machines always, my screens always pull. And we're using cheap old machines. So while I've been bouncing from house to house, projecting my uh, images on big walls and screens and fully lit environments, other people have been doing the same demonstration every single day in the same dark environment. They've been upgrading their projectors, but still, same dark environment. And as I said, $2,000. And this one over here, let me see, even left the dining room table behind. Yeah, paid for that dining room table. Left that too, didn't want that. Definitely wasn't lugging that over there. Oh, heck no. That was another couple grand. Whew, okay. Anyway, moving on. Look at the skin toes on this. I always put a little extra. You only ask for one thing, and I always put a little extra in there. This is when you have, when you buy your ultra short throw projector, he or she, this is what the environment you're supposed to be in with that projector. Didn't have to change anything in that environment for that screen. We're not getting darker curtains. We're not sliding green bookcases across windows and blocking up light. We're not in dark environments here. When I look at a demonstration, I look at the walls. The walls are supposed to be nice and bright. It's supposed to be plenty of light hitting the screen. That projector should be picking up. Sometimes the projector doesn't pick up properly because the lumen count is extremely poor on the projector. There's something wrong with it. Then again, I don't even know about that because we have a customer who did it at 900 lumens on a Phillips. So I don't know about that either. I just say stay away from them altogether. Don't bother with them. There's another demonstration. For, uh, people are saying, well, you know, I got the projector because it does a 150-inch screen. That's a $60 projector sitting on the floor doing a 150-inch screen. And that projector was only designed to do a screen size of 80 inches. That's it. Because of our black technology, we can pull a 150-inch. We don't lose any detail, no depth to it because the technology is black. And we can do it in a fully lit environment and I can stare out my window if I want. I think I did a demonstration too. Did I just stare at another demonstration? Yeah, I did, right there. Did something in my demonstration y'all can't do. We can look out windows. So this is what I compare them to. So I'm not being rude to the YouTubers who make these videos. I'm just telling them that if you're not doing this and this much light, then something's wrong. Something's not working with that projector. Where is that machine at? Right there. Now, you just saw my demonstration. Now look at this. It's too dark. The environment is way too dark. That's why. And they consider this to be well lit. And then they turn around and they stick it in the dark. Gee whiz, that's, that's horrible. That thing wouldn't even work in my environment. Let's look at this four movie projector real quick. Four movie, because I got a demonstration to do tomorrow on this screen. When the sun comes up and we're lighting here. Four movie. Yeah, just don't buy the four movie. Go down to B&H, uh, get it for, it's two grand down there if you're gonna spend that kind of money. Trying to find one demonstration to match the demonstration we just did. We just, sorry, we just did demonstration we just displayed. Any of them. Uh, away from the door. It is. I don't, even, I don't even really care about that. It's whether or not if this thing can pull. Of course it can't. We got lights on already in the background. We got one little light here in the corner. 
which is tucked behind the back of the screen. That's not doing anything. And I guarantee it, the lights went out. So there's no light in there at all, period. There's nothing going on in there. We got one light tucked behind the back, and that's it. See if we can find something else. Anybody else got it? Let me see. For movie projector, what do they got? Oh, this is just a promo. You gotta be freaking kidding me. That's extremely poor. That's very, very poor. Colors are all washed out on that one right there. I've seen this guy's videos quite a lot. Poor demonstrations. I'm sorry. Demonstrations are done in very dark environments. Oh, gee whiz, look. He's doing a light splash behind the back of the screen. At this particular point, buy a bigger couch. What the heck is this? Why did I just mention that projector? Okay, here it is. What are we doing here, people? I guess they're showing the different projectors that they have. That ain't happening. <laughs> Why do we never see these? Is this a demonstration? Is this a slideshow or is this actually happening? Oh, wait a minute. That's not legit. That's photoshopped. That's no way in the world. No way in the world. I've seen the same thing being done with the Optimum projector did this. It shouldn't have did it, but it did do it. And one of their demonstrations, they basically, did, that wasn't the actual screen. It was digitally, digitally uh, displayed in. Oh, come on, people. All right, I had enough of that. We gotta find something else. Let's go over here, see who else has it. For movie projector. In the dark again. The okay, screen's completely washed out. Look at the blues are washed out. Black levels are not picking up. The screen's completely washed out. Look at the menu. I'll go back here for a minute. Here we go. Perfect example. There you go. Washed out. That's set. It. It's supposed to have you. This is. It's washed out. Literally washed out. There's no way to explain it. It's washed out. There you go, my friend. This is why I told you, when before you buy any one of these projectors, go online. First of all, check out our videos. Check out our videos. We're using projectors that are under $200 in our demonstration and are walking around the fully lit environment. And look how poor that looks. That's absolutely poor. That's extremely poor. That's supposed to be a black level. Look at the menu. The menu speaks volumes. That's supposed to be black, not gray. And you have to be in a dark environment. Now, I don't know what he's saying in the demonstration. I like to record people's voices in the day. But the fact that it's say if he's giving it a bad review, either way, it has to be in an environment brighter than that. And if you're going to call these things TVs at the end of the day, they have to be in a TV like it's setting. You couldn't use that thing 12 o'clock in the afternoon. It's not going to even pull. All right, so you can find another one compared to our video demonstration. Let's see, this one right here. Bum, 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 bum. Mm, well, we've seen this one already. We already know the deal with that projector. This one's got one right here. Okay, let's see what we're getting with this one. Are we going to be in a fully lit environment? Nice bright environment. Let's see what we get going on here. No, let's see. We're going to start opening the door. We're just, just casting into the darkness, right? Gee, where's Louise? Come on, people. Give me something. See me going through the thumbnail, right? Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing. The entire demonstration started off in the dark. Can't call it a TV. You gotta stop calling these things TVs. They're not TVs. Let's move on. I had a guy who I contacted today. 
When they asked me a few questions about comparing TVs to projectors, look, man, I'm explaining to the fellow who basically, yeah, I, I didn't finish the conversation because I know you were trolling, so I hung the phone up on you. Let me explain something to you so you can understand how things work in the real world with TVs and projectors. Because apparently you don't have enough knowledge to understand how it works. You're going to talk about the colors and plasmas. You're going to talk about the colors and, and you can do the same thing with 4K projectors. You can go out and get a projector with 8K, you can get a projector 4K, and projectors at 24K you can pick up with no problem. The thing about it is those projectors are only as good as the screens they're displayed on. Now with our technology, we can make these projectors behind us, which are older models, look absolutely incredible. And we can do those in demonstrations as you just saw a few minutes ago, do things that projectors that cost 3,000, 4,000, and 5,000 can't seem to do in any of the demonstrations we're looking at right now. So that speaks volumes for it right there. Do you have any idea what this technology would look like if I did hit it with a 4K or 8K projector, how insane the screen would look? Yeah, there you go. So let me explain something to you. The benefits of having a art setup over a TV. Number one, I can walk into any OLED form I want and I can talk about my technology in there. You know why? Because the first thing they complain about those projectors is number one, you got to be in a dark environment. Well, we're seeing that right now. We're seeing nothing but dark environments on these screens. Number two, you can't see a 100% contrast because the screens you usually see on these are not black. They're usually gray or they're usually white, light gray or white. So you can't ever, you can't ever see contrast. Now, if you spend a projector with an expensive amount of contrast, you still can't see it. You can't pick up colors correctly. OLEDs can pull a 100% black level. We can do that too. So I can easily go into that form site and have a conversation with them because my screen can see black. I can be in fully lit environments that other normal projectors can't sit in. I don't have to calibrate colors. And again, benefits of my technology is I can jump to 150 or 159, which I have in the next room, do it in a fully lit environment, a projector that cost me 270 bucks, which is far less than a TV. And if they're gonna say specifications for specifications, like, okay, well, I have a 4K, guess what? I can pick up a 4K. As a matter of fact, I can get a 10K, sorry, sorry, 8K projector at around $10,000. With my technology in the next room, it's far cheaper than an 8K OLED projector that would cost you, sorry, OLED uh, TV that would cost you in the range of probably between $90,000. And consider the fact that the screen size will be nowhere near the size of the screen size that I would have on display. How much do you think an OLED TV would cost you that can do an actual 16-9 aspect ratio? Because you do know that your TV doesn't have that capability. That's why you watch a movie is that it's formatted for that TV. You don't actually have a 16-9 setup display. Projectors have that. So that would cost you a lot of freaking money to do this. A lot of money. Way more than 90 grand at 159 inches. Oh, I'm sorry, my screen is 1610. So you can't do that. And then I can switch back and forth to 235.1, which you can't do on a TV. Hmm, interesting. Okay, let's move on. Well, that's why I explained to him on the phone. See? And then they get the butt, 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 it's like an old car taking off. All right, let's keep going with this. That's the benefit. People sit there and say TVs are getting more expensive every time you turn around. It costs more money for a TV and they don't want to pay for it. And you can't have a gray screen or, well, just can't have a gray screen and talk about, oh, yeah, we have contrast. We're OLED. No, you're not OLED. How are you coming OLED like? Take that gray screen, go to ABS Forms, go pop into one of them OLED form sites and talk your gray screen paint over there and see what happens. There you go. You know, they show me some videos. Let me see some videos. Let me see some videos of your screen, and, 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 you're gonna, and you're gonna show videos in the dark. And they're gonna say, can you turn the lights on? You can't do that, screen gonna wash out. Uh, let's go over to, I'm trying to find something else in this four movie projector. We got one here. Oh man, these projectors are freaking funny. That guy had $25,000 worth of hardware in his freaking uh, home, and he couldn't even, he couldn't even have his lights on. What the freak is, oh, I know these screens at the end of the day, I heard these before. All right, um, one more on the gravy train, people. Keep in mind, at the end of the day, we've gone through five videos. The first five videos, one of them should have showed something with this screen in a footed environment. 
Oh yeah, this is gonna be funny. This is gonna be good. This is gonna be a good one. Look at the thumbnail. Is the thumbnail showing that sunny area? Let's see if we can find that in the area. I'm just trying to think if we can find this right here. But it's just showing this real sunny thumbnail. They kill me with these sunny thumbnails when we flooded the environment. Let me see. Let's see what we get here. Oh, it's the best. Oh dear laser projectors. No, it's not. Because you can't find one freaking demonstration of somebody in a fully lit environment. Even the people who did reviews on this thing were stuck in the dark. That's <sighs> Epson. In the dark. You see, that one was already in the dark. That's something else. Always in the dark. Dark, 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 dark. Wait, 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 we got one here. Alright, let me see. They use on the screen right here. Look at the color of the screen. See how the screen's white? Can't use those projections on any darker screens. They don't it won't pick up. So automatic with a white screen, color's gonna wash out, color's gonna wash out, contrast can't pick up, and it doesn't have ambient light rejection technology, so it's not even there. Did they do anything, they turn the lights up, right? Guarantee you. That's the setup right there. Look at this. Why did they flash that so fast? There we go. Told you. Ice screens don't pick up for Jack, they can. So the only way they're going to be used that, they're going to have to be in the dark. And I, we already did that demonstration. We built a dedicated theater room. I showed you what happens in the end of the day with a dedicated theater room between a white screen and a black screen or even gunmetal. The gunmetal technology pulls better. I'm oh, sorry. Black technology pulls better. The reason why is because... Let me show you right here. Did they turn lights on any time in here? They can't turn lights on because the screen won't pull. No, nothing here. Has to get all the lights out. The one here, that's where the lights out. Oh, yeah. See the contrast on that projector? That projector is supposed to have what, 3001 plus something on it? Can't even pull the black background on it at all, period. Doesn't pull. This, no, this isn't a movie theater setup. It's not a movie theater setup. It's not a um, pretty way. Dedicated theater rooms don't use ultra short throws. They don't. For, I had somebody said they were putting in a dedicated movie theater. No, don't do that. Do not do not put in an ultra short throw in a dedicated movie theater. You can't do that. You'll get laughed at. Any form site you go to, you get laughed at. That's not it's considered to be a family room. That's what that, com that comes down to. Dedicated theaters do not use ultra short throws. They use long throws for those. And you're going to be at a distance. And I mean, you're going to do, it depends on different types you're going to do. If you're going to do an ex a really serious one, then you're going to have it at a distance. You're going to have it literally behind the back of your seats. If you're going to do a really highly professional one, you're going to have that one in a booth. You're going to have it in booths. But if you're going to use the one in the booth, you're going to have something called, and i got to show you the video on that too. we got to do that today. It's there, you got to have a special lens for that. It's called an extended long throw lens. You need one of those to do it. Because if not, if you have a standard lens, you're hitting the walls, the seats, everything. You need something to skip all that, pinpoint, hit the screen, and come back. That's what you need. We'll show you that today. we got two of those projectors here to do that. But, yeah. Nice setup. Like I said, don't get me wrong. These people have really nice setups. Not doubting all that. Real nice setup and all. Just got a trashy projector and trashy screen. That's the problem. And he put it on. It's a white screen. Usually, this is what happens because people read. And guess what? Like I said the biggest lie we tell ourselves is when we buy these projectors. I did it myself. That you think all the little bells and whistles is going to pop off. It's not going to pop off. That screen should be able to operate. If he had a property set up, he should be able to run that in a fully lit environment with no problem. Just like when we take the white sheets of paper and we stick it on the screen and we show the blues, the greens, the reds, the contrast, and none of that picks up, that's the same reaction he's going to have here. It's going to be far worse with this one. Yeah, as I said before, couldn't find any demonstrations to match ours. 
So um, I don't get that. These projectors cost far more than the projectors I'm using in my demonstration. So I don't know what. I, again, it's a waste. Of, it's a waste of your money. It is. Yeah, my condensed lighting is definitely right on top of my screen. It makes contact with my screen at all times. See the wall? See the baseboard? See how there's no shadows, no dark air, nothing. Is that screen levitating? I think it's a levitating screen I built. One of the trains I have are floating. As for the whole TV comment, well, the fellow who made the comment about the TV said something about, well, how do you compare your products to TVs? Well, you go to my front page, you got one right there. There we go. technology versus a TV as I said before that's a jet black screen that can pick up a white level right next to a TV you know watch it right on the front page of my video right there and it's done in a fully lit environment while we're doing it so that white level on that technology is so high mind you whatever we have embedded in these screens like the phantoms whatever each screen paint we developed down through time that has a special ability gets transferred over into the next screen paint we take one element from it so 48s have each one of each one we've ever designed is embedded in 48s that's why my British ultra shirt though 60 bucks sitting behind me I can go turn my lights on and I can watch a TV show whatever I want when I just sat there and did a field trip and watched all those projectors that cost way more than my $60 machine can't even pull up in a fully lit environment. And we showed you screen size way over of what the projectors were designed to do. Optima GT55s and 56s are only designed to do a screen size of 100 inches. We're way beyond that. I can do 140 inch outside on that projector. Oh wait, I already did it. So yes, our technology can replace CVs. We have the capability, we have the power. Unlike in the demonstrations I saw, when people were trying to match a laptop, they came out washed out. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Well, okay. A little fun here, people. I'm gonna go back here and probably watch. What's my projector off back behind me? This one over here. I'm watching my TV. Did that fall assist or something? Oh, yeah. <sighs> I'm gonna enjoy my setup over here. Cause I'm loving my setup in here. Freaking loving it. And again, didn't spend any money. 360 bucks with my projectors total up. 300 Sony. 60 bucks ultra short throw. And this is what I've been doing. Sitting here laying down watching my screens. Look at the color push across that shark. You guys are spending all this money at the end of the day.
So for the fellow, even if you do purchase a P2 projector, without our technology, that projector can't push. As I said before, we did the field trip on the P2. Couldn't find anybody, not one person, who could do the demonstration in a fully lit environment on that much power. Shame, too. Okay, with that being said, stay away from the knockoffs of the gimme projectors. Gimme. Oh, yeah, new one, new one. We're keeping that one. The gimme projectors or gimmick projectors, we call them. Stay away from them. Get name brand projectors only. I'm going to make a decision by tomorrow whether or not we're going to basically keep supporting these other projectors because I don't want to add to this at all, period. We're going to keep the great product, like I said, because some people like it. I don't know why you would like it over black technology is more and more superior, but then only teach his own. Some people like the black, some people like the gray. But I think we may pull that part right there. We may basically put a, um, a policy back in for that one. Because I don't want to support something at the end of the day. These companies are going to keep continuing to make at the end of the day. And if people want to keep buying these, oh, projectors are horrible. I don't want to be a part of that. All right, got to go and God bless.